despite the route taken by the despite the route taken by the reaction the total energy change will remain the same so we have derived this equation so uh, what we do is now that we use a born haber cycle for delta h because delta h is not a single step it is the culmination of many steps it is the it is basically the addition it is many different steps added together giving us one delta h so that's why instead of a hess cycle we use a born haber cycle this is so what we will use now is a born haber cycle and i will show you how a born haber cycle looks like um so we start from in a solid plus half cl2 gas then we go one step up we give some energy and we give some energy and this becomes in a gas plus half cl2 gas so we have not changed the chlorine we have only changed the sodium right now then this so this uh, this enthalpy change will be the delta will be delta h not atm which is the standard enthalpy change of atomization of sodium because from sodium solid we are going to sodium gas and the enthalpy change is therefore the standard enthalpy change of atomization then we have na gas again but this time instead of half cl2 we have cl gas so now i have gone from chlorine's diatomic molecules to single chlorine at gaseous atoms which is the enthalpy change of atomization of chlorine so delta h not atm standard enthalpy change of atomization of chlorine of cl now i go another step up and this becomes an a plus gas plus cl gas plus electrons one mole of electrons because since i removed one mole of electrons from the sodium atom i will have one mole of electrons available over here so this is the first this enthalpy change is the first ionization energy i am writing ie for ionization energy so this is the first ionization energy of sodium now we go down instead of going up and i'll explain why because so in all of these cases as you saw we were giving energy enthalpy change of atomization always endothermic enthalpy change uh, and first ionization energy also endothermic uh, ionization energy is always endothermic so this is also endothermic so all these processes were endothermic so on the energy scale on the energy scale we were going up because we were giving energy but now we have na plus plus cl negative gas so in this now what has happened is that this the one mole of chlorine atoms have taken one mole of electrons to form one mole of gaseous chlorine negative ions now this is the first electron affinity of chlorine the first electron affinity and we have gone down on the energy scale because the first electron affinity is generally exothermic because chlorine wants electrons it is electronegative it wants electrons it's a nonmetal so it wants electrons so therefore energy will be released as it takes electrons and as energy has been released we have gone down on the energy scale then we go further down on the energy scale a lot down and then we have in a cl solid which is sodium chloride solid and this is the lattice energy because as you can see na plus gas plus cl negative gas gas gives you one mole of nacl solid and this is the lattice energy and as said lattice energy is always exothermic and you can see over here that we are going down on the energy scale and since we are going down on the energy scale it means it's an exothermic process and to complete this we can also go down from here which was the direct route and since we are for forming nacl solid directly from the elements it will become 
delta h naught f of